So today I wanna to talk about a photo shared by Wesley Inman at the Physique and Strength Supergroup on Facebook that you should all be members of because it's a kick-ass group. And what Wesley shared was an image of an LA Fitness warning to members to not tape others in the gym without their permission as doing so could result in them losing their memberships and possible law enforcement interaction. And some of the people in the comments, and I love this group because there's comments, guys. So many Facebook groups are as dead as a doornail, but not this one. So if you want to join an actual group that's alive and there's interaction and you get to talk to and meet real people in the bodybuilding and powerlifting and fitness industry worlds, this is a group for you. And I'm also going to be writing an article for ironmagazine.com, maybe strength addicts as well, because this is a hot topic issue. This is a hot button issue. Okay. So a lot of the people in the comments were saying things to the effect of, well, you know, there's no expectation of privacy in public. And that is a great, great comment. If we were talking about a video on a public sidewalk, a public street, even a limited public forum, you know what I mean? Like a courthouse or a government building, depending on where in the courthouse and where in the building you're at, you know, but the thing is, is that a gym is not public. It's not owned by the government, meaning it's not funded by taxpayer dollars. Okay. It is a private business, so they can do whatever they want in their private business. What we're on right now, whether you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or TikTok or LinkedIn, whatever, those are all websites. They are also privately owned. Now there's, there's some talk about Facebook and Twitter having some, you know, some speech concerns, even though they're private because of, of how dominant they are in our culture, but I don't care. They're still private. They can still come up with their own terms of service and their terms of service do, in my opinion, trump our bill of rights like the First Amendment, okay? So there's a big difference in where the speech is taking place. And, and and so with regards to the LA Fitness warning, I think it's totally above board. Now, the other thing about it is, is that, you know, we take the creep factor out because, you know, there's people creeping on others, you know, taking pictures, videos, that's really weird. But usually videos taken at gyms are for body shaming purposes. And we're talking about videos of others without their permission for body shaming purposes or like the gym fuckery videos where you see somebody doing something in the gym that looks absolutely stupid and you're like, this is an injury waiting to happen. Look at this dope. I'm going to go take this video. I'm going to put it on. It's going to go viral. But, but so, so it's either body shaming or it's gym fuckery or, or something. But the point is, is that it, it's not wanted. It's not allowed by the person you know, and so the gyms have every right. You know, I know that we, we knock on Planet Fitness a lot. I go to Planet Fitness, cleanest gyms in the world, best cardio. I can go anywhere I want. Do I go there to lift heavy? No, but for cardio, for massage chairs, I do. But taking a page from Planet Fitness, I think LA Fitness is cognizant of the fact that its members need to feel comfortable. And you cannot feel comfortable if you feel like anybody could be videotaping you or photographing you at any given point in time. You're not going to train in peace. You're not going to live in peace. So I have to agree with LA Fitness here.